I gave it like four months. I ain't upload. The strikes came off. All right, before we start, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash, the waters of the elders, the apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations. To all like the Akimwa Aqua, learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity. All right, I'm the brother of uh, Lot. This is the brother of Karataza. Yeah, we're just doing another uh, video. You know, we're just doing some pondering. And, you know, I had it saved. Uh, you know, I'm you know, actually speaking. With a couple of brothers dealing with this topic, y'all. But you know, nothing in this present world is better than anything that is coming to us in the kingdom. So we have to be able to let this world go, you know, and the possessions here without any quarrels. All right. Hey, another video I'm, I'm eventually do. If I don't do it today, then maybe you know tomorrow, Lord willing. But you know, you have the big thing in Israel right now. You know, niggas don't want to cut their hair. Uh, one dude, he hopped on the comment board arguing with Apostle Bar over his hair. One guy hopped on the comment board arguing about, uh, uh, arguing with Elder Manasseh Zakba about his hair. Like, let, what are, there's nothing here that can compare to the kingdom. What the fuck are you niggas thinking about or focusing on? Your house here is nothing. Or your apartment. Your car here is nothing. Your job here is nothing. The scriptures tell you that all these things are going to be wasted away. So what should you be focusing on? All right. Which, uh, you want to start with that one? Con, this is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9. And it reads, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart, meaning the mind of man, the things which the Most High Yahweh have prepared for them that love him. Have prepared for them that love them, you know. So the kingdom is, is literally being told to us. Our kingdom is going to be literally outside of our expectation. So that is our uh, that's the road that we're headed towards. So th th there will be things in this world that you have to give up, and you have to be okay with giving it up. Uh, Elder uh, Ariala out of Dallas did a very good video this week. It was about forty minutes, uh, basically how. You know, you know, this this shit is the matrix. You know, this shit here is a joke. What are you looking towards in this world? You love your job so much, you've been after 20 years, they will fucking fire you without any pension, without any stimulus, nothing. I've seen it. I've seen uh you 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 super into your woman, you super up your woman backside, nigga. She will get impregnated by a nigga behind your back and have yeah. you raising a kid that ain't yours. All right. Yeah, you super into your children. Your little son will grow up and say, Daddy, I want to be a girl. And if you don't help me, I'm going to call the police on you. All right. Man. This is the reality of the world that we're in. You have to be able to let this go for the great things of the kingdom. All the suffering that we've endured here, man, it won't, it won't, it won't even compare to the kingdom. It's not even going to compare. Uh, I got one real quick. Or is it all on that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got it, bro. Uh, I'm going to start over. It's 1 yeah. Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9. But as it is written... I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of men the things which the Most High Yahweh have to prepare for them that love him. And only a select few love the mm -hmm. Lord. That's the elect, the elect, all right, are going to love the Lord. Verse 10, but the Most High have revealed them unto us by his spirit. So through the spirit, we have faith that the Lord, you know what I'm saying, we hope that he's going to deliver us, yes. all right? We have hope that we're going to be uh, first fruits and uh, a brother at camp yesterday he broke down uh, first fruits the word in the scriptures and come to find out I see now why the apostle Tahar always say that it's different levels uh, it's going to be different levels to the Israelites because the strongest definition for first fruit says uh, it basically says different uh, levels of hierarchy mm, yeah so tier, it tier. is T yeah it's a tier -E yeah basically yeah basically yep, yep. so Con, uh, and, uh, shalom everybody on the Lord. Yep, shalom. Uh, continuing on in verse ten of First uh, Corinthians chapter two, for the Spirit searcheth all things, yeah, the deep, the deep things of the Most High Yahweh. For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of the Most High Yahweh knoweth no man but the Spirit of the Most High. But the point is, like the brother said, we. We, we can't even imagine all the yep. great things that the Lord is going to give to us, yep. right? And it, so it doesn't compare. You know, basically the point of this video, y'all, you know, the 
you have to be able to let shit go in this world. You know, you have to be able to let go, you know, things, the, the carnal things in this uh, world so that we can receive our kingdom. You yeah. shouldn't be in a, okay, like, basically, I was talking to one brother, right? One, one thing that I was thinking about, I was like, man. I was like, man, I never got to ride in a Porsche. Man, I didn't, I didn't grow up in no mansion. I didn't, you know, cause you know, you got, you get on Instagram, you get on the internet. What do you see? You see, yeah. you, these, bro, you, I, you got Edomites. You know, he, they don't know what it's like to eat off the same plate. They got a new plate coming, like Floyd. What Floyd say? I ain't never wore the same pair of underwear once. You know, yeah. since he started making his millions. Well, the majority of us in this troop, we don't got no background like that. We didn't grow up struggling, poverty. Many of us, you know fucked up families. So we've received nothing but the bad of this world. We don't know what it's like to have the pleasures and the fun, but that's okay. We're going to have the pleasures and the fun in the kingdom. What the fuck is a Porsche compared to a chariot? All right. What is a house here compared to a fucking intergalactic castle in the kingdom? A whole planet for you. It don't compare. All right. John 14 and two. Yep. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not, if, Slotkin, if it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. The Father's place is all of the world, all of existence, if you will. All right, the many mansions is the, the different realms, the planets, the bodies that are set up, which the elect are beginning with 144,000 men. They're going to be given the reign and the charge over these uh, celestial bodies. We're going to be going out, repopulating, all right? It says, uh, if it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. So Yahweh Shai, right now, y'all, you know, hey, he's getting everything ready for us that's going to be for us in the kingdom. All right. It's already going to be appointed, you know, even for the sisters, it's going to be appointed to what man you're going to be with. The brothers is going to be, our wives is getting appointed. Yeah. The children we're going to be having, you know, our places of dwelling. You know, our, you know, our ranks, our names, our, all that is being prepared for us. All right. What you got, Doc? Okay, Khan. This is the book of St. Matthew, uh, chapter 19, and I'm going to start at verse 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, and he's, he's, he's speaking to Yahweh Shai, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Okay, because they, they gave up. They put the truth first, all right? They put the ministry first. They put the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, first over their carnal wants, all right, in life, all right? Because we all have carnal wants Yeah. because uh, we're in the flesh, yeah. all right? Um, verse 28, and Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, all right, reincarnation, we keep coming back, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans make up the twelve tribes, all right? We're not black Hebrew Israelites. But verse 29. That's like it. And that's one of the things to look forward to, your position in the kingdom. Yeah. Your position at your job right now don't mean shit. You know, <laughs> you got certain niggas are the people are world, a nigga, you know, he think cause he a manager. He got he get him a Cadillac. Now he riding around thinking he the uh, best thing ever since sliced bread, nigga. They will fire you. Yeah. They don't give a fuck, or they'll have you killed if you think you if you find yourself on a level in this world. They will do you like they're doing Andrew Tate. They'll just come up with an accusation, throw you in jail, and potentially just lock you up for the rest of your fucking life. Nothing here is truly ours. That now this the 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 what's about to what's going to be given to Peter. Uh, which was, you know, he, he's going to be uh, back in these days, uh, uh, which was uh, David through the Spirit. I, I'm trying to think of the best way to phrase this. Uh, he's, his rank is already set in mm -hmm. the kingdom, all right, if you, if you can understand. And yeah, it's, 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 sure. above, it's above any position or title that we can ever, that we can get down in this ragged world. Being a CEO don't mean shit. Being the COO, don't mean I believe that's the one that's under, right? Yeah, yeah. CEO, COO. Yeah, Chief Executive Officer, yeah. Chief something. CFO, officer. Chief yes. Financial yeah. Officer. Yeah, that shit don't I mean nothing, in, bro. I work mm -hmm. with people mm -hmm. in those circles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah. shit don't mean shit. They all, niggas, they all got their nose in the air. That don't mean they nothing. They got board bro. meetings. Yeah, board meetings. Weak sauce, bro. 
You got it, right? Uh, verse 29 uh, of Matthew 19, it's chapter 19. And everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake, how would I say? Meaning, oh, not meaning, oh, I ain't taking care of you. I ain't, yeah, you, yeah, buy, yeah. you buy kid, I ain't fit to uh, buy you nothing or you my wife. I'm not, no, no, <laughs> what it's saying is putting this truth first. First, yep. all right? If anything gets in the way of your salvation, you have to be able to put it to the back burner. Right. Or lands for my namesake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. And that's what, like we were saying, yeah, yeah. these COOs yeah. and shit. They it's going to be a complete switch. Yep. They first now, but Israelites, we're going to be put on top later, forever, coming real soon. Uh, and so, so basically, you know, hey, when you're dealing with situations in this world and you incur some sort of loss, you just got to roll with the punch, punches and keep it in your mind. I'm going to be way better in the kingdom. You know, so if you do get fired from a job, if, a, you know, say your car break down, down on you, you know, women or children gone or whatever, you know, or even even uh, your body in this world, yeah. you know, if you get sick, you know, in the Lord or whatever thorn in the flesh, you know, everybody has their own thorn in the flesh. Let's say the Lord gives you a bad knee. Some of those might got a bad ankle, bad foot, bad eyesight, whatever. Well, the body that you're going to receive in the kingdom is way beyond this body. So just deal with the infirmity that you're given. You know, don't, don't, you don't got to sweat it too hard. You'll be finally rewarded. All right. Romans 8 and 18. It says, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. All right. So not only, you know, the things that we're going to receive us ourselves, the bodies that we're in now is not even going, it's not even what shit. Anybody since we, uh, any, uh, not any, because we, we've, we've been here in several incarnations. Our kingdom bodies that we're going to receive is going to be even greater than the bodies that we had in the garden. And when we were in the garden, you know, we were, you know, Adam lived to be 900 some years old. But even his body won't be able to compare to, you know, the elect bodies. Matter of fact, God, can you get John, uh, not John, Luke 7 and 28? Okay. You know. And, and uh, furthermore, it's a, it's such it's a disclaimer to that scripture that mm -hmm. you just got to, because it's something that we got to do. Yeah, yeah. And, you uh, know what I'm saying? We, what do we got to do? If you read that again, it might be above it. Or I, was, I was about to hear. Were you, uh... What you said, I, I for at, I reckon... Yeah, I was at 18. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see. For I reckon that we... Okay, yeah, it says, verse 17. Okay, so I'm going to start 17 real quick. Romans yeah. 8 and 17. And if children, then heirs... Heirs of Yahweh and joint heirs with Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with there him, go, that we go. may also be glorified together. Yeah, so it's a, we have to suffer yeah. with, with Yahweh Shai. All right? You got it. All uh, right. Luke chapter 7. I believe it's 28. Okay. Luke chapter 7 and verse 28. For I say unto you, among those that are born of women, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist. But he that is least in the kingdom of the Most High is greater than he. So this goes to show you the level that all this, or even, you know, all, even the wicked that are reborn, that die on this side, that are reborn in the kingdom. The a, a state of the nation of Israel will be so far surpass anything we've ever been on on this carnal side. Because John the Baptist is a highly approved man, loved of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. But John, if you were to compare John the Baptist and his state, then compared to even just a regular Israelite in the kingdom, it's incomparable. All right, so that that truly goes to show you the level that we're going to be on. You know, we're going to hey, we're going to be. There's a reason why we've been on this journey for such a long time now. There's a reason why we've been going through all this. Is it's going the Lord? It's gonna be truly worth the worth the fucking wait. All right, First John, uh, real quick, three and uh, two. It says, "Beloved, now are we the sons of Yahweh, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when He shall appear, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is." All right. So right now. You know, we don't, we're not looking too hot. We're not the cool, the motherfuckers everybody want to be around. You know, we the, 
it tells you uh, in Isaiah, we're in the prison houses, we're in the holes, you know, but in the kingdom and, you know, at the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, it says we're going to be made like him. So we're going to be, we're going to be uh, a hey, literally a hey, Moses shown because of his wisdom. We're going to be shining, healthy again, glorious, strength, speed. All right. These holes out here like tall niggas. Well, we all going to be tall again. How about that? <laughs> all right. We're going to get everything back and some. What you got? Um, I'm gonna grab this. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 16. I'm gonna start at verse 8. I have set the Lord Yahweh always before me, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou will not leave my soul in hell, mm -hmm. neither will thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Here's the point. Thou will show me the path of life, and thy presence is fullness of joy. At the right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, he's going to give all the Israelites a pleasure forevermore. But hey, the first fruits... Are, are the ones who uh, are going to uh, get it first because the first fruits are the ones who are going to endure. They are, you know, actually the elect. There's a scripture, I know it's a New Testament, I can't remember how it goes. The uh, Lord is basically saying, He that's, uh, He's uh, the servant, the servant that is worthy and little. Uh, damn, this is, it goes good with the scripture of Sirach, it goes, hang on. It basically, In the kingdom? No, no, no. It basically says the servant that was, uh, uh, it may be the parables with the talents, bro. Okay. It may be the talents. If you can pull up, um, it may be the parable of the talents. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Bear with us, I can do <laughs> Yeah, maybe the parable says, because uh, he was uh, over little. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was good over little. I made thee uh, a servant over much. Uh, okay. Something to that effect. Um, yep, uh, let me see. Over much. Let me type in over much. Yeah, I got Matthew 25. Okay. So this is, you want me to grab it? Yeah, yeah, start off wherever, uh, let me see, what verse? Let's see, it's starting at verse. Uh, let me start at 14. Yeah, it's not Okay, yeah, uh, started, uh, because he gave, uh, yeah, yeah, you start at the top, fuck, start at the top of the river. Yeah, okay. Okay. That was the point down there, though. Yeah, 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 yeah thank you very much. Okay, yeah. God, this is St. Matthew chapter 25, we're, we're going to start in verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods, all right? And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several abilities. So this is the parable our Lord Yahusha is gone, and he's given us, you know, those that believe on him, our different gifts, our lots, you know, beginning with the prophets, our ability, based on our capabilities in teaching. You know, you got some brothers that do 100 videos a day, <laughs> and you got some brothers that do they three. You know, some brothers are super immaculate speakers, some brothers are, brothers are super readers. Okay. I've been given our different gifts while he's away. You got it. And on to one he gave five talents to another two and to another one. To every man according to his several ability and straightway took his journey. Then he that received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. So he flipped it. And likewise, he that had received two he also gained other two, so they were putting in work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is parabolic for brothers coming together and doing the work, preaching and waking up more. Yep, exactly. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's talent, his slacking, his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, Thou deliveredest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, 
thou good and faithful servant, thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will make thee ruler over many things. Yeah, and that's the position we, we're in right now. And right now in this current world, we don't, the, the average of us, you know, hey, some of us is, you know, some brothers got a decent job, you know, some brothers are still young, you know, school, some brothers is older, retired, you know, whatever. But the, ma the majority of us, we find ourselves in lowly conditions, yet we're keeping our integrity in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We move, we move in, we, in willing and dealing uh, uprightly. Therefore, you know, if we, if we can deal good with the little bit that we got, we're going to be great with the much that we're given in the kingdom. In, in contrast, uh, the scripture in Sirach, when you look at Esau, he's ruling the world and he's fucking wicked, you know? So, uh, hey, when the tables turn, he's going to be down where he belongs and we're going to be up where we belong. That was the verse. Yeah. Con, uh, real uh, quick, another one, Luke 16 and 10. It's basically uh, the same thing without a loop. It says, he that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. All right. So, hey, Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, he's going to make up for, they're going to make up for us not having on this side. You know, y'all, so don't, don't, you know, when you're going through life, motherfuckers, bro, these heathen, bro, man, these heathen, they, they grow up living picture perfect fucking lives, some of them. You know, got a pool in the back, a dog, all kinds of cars outside, a super extended family. You know, everybody know who they pops is. Well, don't fret at that. You know, don't be just don't be uh, the scripture in Psalms. I was envious when I saw the uh, prosperity of the yeah. wicked. Well, that's for these fuckers to have. What we're gonna have in the kingdom, they'll never be able to touch a heathen. Ain't gonna never be able to fly. He ain't gonna never hop in a chariot. He ain't gonna never have a uh, uh, you know. Uh, immortality. All right, these things are given to us to enjoy. These uh, these motherfuckers, they're never going to be on our level. So let them have this now. Let them have this world. This is their kingdom. This crumbling world. Yeah, this crumbling world. <laughs> this decaying world. This shithole. And and look towards our kingdom, which is coming, where we're going to be the the superstars, if you will. We're going to be the ones at the top. All right, don't be afraid to give up anything here because oh, truly, we are going to be superstars. Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Zephaniah. 319, yeah. fame in every land where we put shame. God, God. Hey, so, you know, don't don't be afraid to let nothing go here. And especially when society collapses, y'all. Matter of fact, I, God. Uh, what was that? Uh, uh, we can't look back like uh, last, uh, Lot's life. So, yeah. Um, Let's take a lot. I know what you're talking about. I just don't know where to go. That's uh, Genesis uh, 19. Okay. Uh, Genesis 19 and 27, I believe. Oh, one yeah, I thought you was looking for the one where it says remember the last one. Like, that's yeah, here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's the one I thought you were. You want the actual account. Uh, oh, you know what? You know what? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you want the actual account. Okay. You know what? No, bro. Yeah, no. Get Luke 17, go 31 through 33. That's better. Yeah, the, the remember okay, the last 26, one. that's what you It's 26, yeah, slide. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but get yeah, the one Luke. Luke. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Luke 17, 31 through 33. Okay, Luke yeah. 17... Because the day is going to come where we have to for, forsake all of this shit, and your your loyalty is going to be tested. It's going to it's gonna, you're going to you're going to be proved. Do you care more about your yeah. Hashem Yahweh Shai than your job, than your place of dwelling, than your so called friends in the world, than your so called family, than your status in this world? All right, you got it. All right. Um, this is the book of Saint Luke, chapter seventeen, verse thirty one through thirty three. In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop. And his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. Now, originally, this is dealing with 70 AD. Yahweh was literally warning them, you know, when y'all see the Romans coming about, you know, get the fuck up out of there. <laughs> and apply, we can apply it to our, our times, too. When, you know, when Esau Edom comes to move in on us, you got it. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Yep. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever Luke it's like you, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Yep. So now you can get that Genesis. Okay, kind. And, and you know what else just uh, came to me? Mm -hmm. The parable about the uh, rich man who 
when your house shot said you gotta uh, die, let everything go. Yeah. And he oh, turned yeah, around yeah. and yeah. walked away. Yeah, was sorrowful. Yeah, because he couldn't, couldn't let, let it go. The world go. because yeah, yeah. I, yeah, he was a rich man. He couldn't um, he couldn't conceptualize. Yeah, damn these benef the benefits in the kingdom is way more than what I got now. And that's hey, that's why certain people not in the truth. They can't put their hope on something that they can't see right now. Yeah, because yeah. all they know, like like Kyrie. Yeah. Kyrie not going, I don't know what type of car he drive, but let's say Kyrie don't want to give up a Charger or a Mercedes or that mansion. That's why he's still running that ball up like a good nigga, <laughs> running his layup, running the play. Earlier, you know earlier uh, in this lesson, you was talking about the guy with the Cadillac. He, yeah, he, yeah. He will, he, he'll he pass up the truth. Yeah. Just for that, that lack. ass lack. Yeah. I, I, I seen a nigga in a Cadillac. I was at the car wash. I seen an old nigga in a lack. That's why I came a to nigga, a nigga yeah. with a, Cad a nigga with a Cadillac in a, a supervisor position at a, at mm -hmm. a tip service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A nigga with a Cadillac. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that, that, he, he done made it. You know in what I'm saying? Mind. Yeah, right. You got it. Uh, this is the book of Genesis chapter uh, 19 and verse 26. Uh, but his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. Plain and simple. His wife yeah. looked back and she wasn't supposed to and she she got fucking melted. So we have to be able to let this world go for the kingdom that's coming. And the kingdom that's coming is well worth it. So it's not like we're we're, we're not really taking an L here and any and any loss of anything here. You know, yeah. so that's about it, you know, just giving that exhortation. Uh if you deal with loss in this world, just understand you will be rewarded handsomely in the kingdom. All right, so we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash, the one of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and citations to all the elect Akim, Wa Akwa, learning and teaching the truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.